Hi YouTube and happy Thursday. Last night we took a look at the Palm OS emulator of the Moskim microcomputer trainer called VKIM. Tonight we'll take a look at a modern tool chain for compiling and building Palm OS applications in Linux. I hinted at this a bit uh, at the end of yesterday's video. I just want to talk about this now fairly thoroughly and also do a quick demo to uh, build this, this example application. I'll post the uh, link that you can see up here from palm2000.com. It's a really simple tool chain. All it has is uh, PillRC, which handles Palm OS application resource files, and then a GCC tool chain suited for, for Palm devices. There used to be development, I know, with the uh, Palm OS SDK and PillRC, as well as MetroWorks Code Warrior, I believe, on Windows and Mac, and um, NS Basic, I think, on, on, on Windows PCs, but this is a lot more modern and was first, first documented here in 2020. It's five years old, but I'll tell you I was able to get it to work. You can see the sample application built on a Tungsten T3, and I'll indeed confirm in Cloud Pilot EMU, which I talked about um, oh well, on Tuesday, that, that the application builds and we can run it successfully. There's a, a newer one on, on Ubuntu 20.04, and indeed I'm running Ubuntu 24.04 on, on this, this machine and was able to get everything uh, working there. Okay, so this is just a, a function that's included in the code to uh, generate this application. Uh, dev package for Ubuntu 24.04 LTS 64-bit an updated shortcut and simpler way to build applications in an even more efficient way and I'll, I'll go ahead through and do the third approach but walk through everything here. Uh, initially the tool chain needed PillRC, Palm OS SDK, PRC Tools Remix and excuse me, uh, GCC 9.1, but that became uh, simpler over time. It's um, not especially difficult to install everything. PRC Builder and PRC Tools is critical for turning compiler bin files into Palm OS executables. You can see what's, what's um, other libraries you need. I know I've used Flex and Bison before for various um, OpenWRT tool chains. I really should have done some videos on that back in the day, five or six years ago. Dimitri Grinberg, who's developed a ton of Palm OS applications, made a modern GCC 9.1 run ready for compiling Palm OS applications. It compiles to the Motorola 68K target, as you would expect for Palm devices that have uh, Dragon Ball EZ and VZ processors. This is uh, the make file that I'll show you when, you when I run the tool chain, developed by Dimitri Grinberg. You can see these different variables set and uh, make make steps that are run. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I haven't written make files. I, I think that's another skill that I need to pick up. I'll, you know, probably use a standard one, but um, I'm planning to build those Cardiac and Kenback uh, emulators. I imagine I'll have to uh, learn the ins and outs of writing make files and adjust this accordingly for, for, for those applications. Okay, so I think I got everything from that. Okay. 
uh, linker.lkr is needed. Yeah, that I don't really understand yet. Okay, so here's the hello world example. There's a message drawn to the, uh, what is it, to the uh, center of the screen, I believe. And let's see, application startup. Um, I have to read through the Palm OS API to understand each of these uh, different commands. It's kind of interesting. I remember seeing these called in Dragonforth which I um, have talked about in the distant past and, and maybe I should, should talk about in a future video. That's a Palm OS fourth development environment. Okay, so that'll uh, require some more learning. Event, get event, add event, uh, uh, event wait forever, syshandle event, uh, event, okay. Do a while loop there. Okay, so that's the simplest test program. I used, you know, a more extended version of this. Thanks to Dimitri's work, this way of building applications is even more efficient than building an application with Code Warrior. And Code Warrior, as as they point out, has a nice debugger. I haven't used it. I've just heard about it. Yes, I definitely would want to build a bigger project with resources like uh, user interface elements. I'll need to make buttons and uh, menus as well as accessibility to to the uh, memo pad databases. Okay. No need for PRC tools, so that was eliminated in this next iteration. Okay, so so this person got a um, i386 RPM package of PillRC to to include in their uh, zip file. All of these different for, uh, different versions are are completely within zip files. Our source file uh, is is necessary uh, with the uh, code listed as a resource before building with PillRC. Okay, so I uh, slightly modified this and was able to compile it. The, uh, well, the the uh, zip files here with the development system all include pose, which I um, hinted at a little bit in that Cloud Pilot Emu uh, video. That's the Palm OS emulator. Apparently that was available for not just Windows, but also for Linux. Okay, so after that um, update, and Dimitri further further edited uh, PillRC and improved it, giving this 3.3 unofficial version. I'll uh, yeah, I'll just show you really quick what those are. Uh, Dimitri says this fixes a lot of issues in emitting Will Endian bitmaps, as the other three support bitmap compression formats to produce much smaller bitmaps and add support for three and four time uh, density. He added patches to the PillRC 3.2 sources. Okay, so, so it's this third version that has pose and replaces PillRC with version 3.3 uh, unofficial. All you, all you have to do is run, uh, run make on the uh, source files and it includes a wrapper script to start pose that just executes the runnable in the add-ons directory. Sadly, pose cannot run as a standalone application. I did install lib x, x extension xext6 i386, but the other uh, build tools are standalone. Here's just a little detail on patching and compiling pillrc 3.3 unofficial, which I didn't do. There's pose, and just some last words here. 
After a third release of this article and all the changes that have been made to the tool chain to develop Palm OS applications on Ubuntu 20.04, we've reached a point where you can, for now, leave everything as it is. The tool chain is, thanks to Dimitri Grinberg, up to date and with only two tools and some libraries very compact. Hopefully it will run on future Ubuntu releases too. Indeed, I will confirm that it does run on this newer Ubuntu release of 24.04 LTS. If you plan to write applications for Palm OS 2.0, which you would find on something like a Palm Pilot Personal or Professional, use version 2 of the dev package since the improvements from Dimitri are not fully supported by Palm OS 2.0. I'll also have to look at that addendum a little bit. That's, yeah, that's that's really good to know. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull up a terminal. I'll move that over here. I'm in the um, Palm Dev V3 directory. Let's just go back to the Palm directory and see if I still have the zip file. Indeed I do. So I have this 17 file Palm dev v3 zip file that I downloaded from the website I just showed you. It's about 270 meg and then when it's uncompressed dusch palm dev v3 it's 801 meg so it's it's fairly big. I'll just see um, sorry uh, df h I'm using 12% of my my hard drive so there's, I do have several several tool chains installed that are are each taking about a gig each, including this Palm OS tool chain. Okay, so with that, I'll go ahead back into the Palm not Palm Palm Dev V3 directory. I'll show you the README file. All you have to do is is run make. I can do that. And you can see, you know, what uh, commands are, are executed here. The initial GCC uh, compile comp command to make that code 001 elf uh, output uh, conversion to binary, pillar C to combine the resource file and, um, or I guess use the resource file to uh, make the PRC and then get rid of the binary code output. And then these are just the messages from from pill, pill RC. Okay, so I did change the code very slightly, just to have um, uh, was it to show that you know I'm 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 running this on Ubuntu 24.04. You can see there are three messages that are placed in in three consecutive lines in the middle of the screen, as we'll see when we run the. Uh, application. And I just changed this from Ubuntu 20.04 to Ubuntu 24.04. Okay, and then this is all, I guess, uh, boilerplate uh, code. Okay, so we've uh, compiled that successfully, and you can see it was almost uh, instantaneous. I've uh, already uploaded this to, to Cloud Pilot Emu. As test up PRC, I can show you how I did that. Let's go to Palm, Palm Dev V3, test up PRC, open, and that was successful. Anyhow, I had it before, but I thought it would be worth uh, showing you that. Now, drum roll, please, we'll uh, do the honor of opening this, and you can see. Voila, this application was built only with GCC 9.1 for the Motorola 68K target and PillRC 3.3 unofficial on Ubuntu 24.04. It has no menus or other UI elements. I might, you know, do look through the Palm OS API and try to implement a menu or, you know, some other uh, UI elements here and, and see if I can, you know, make a new PRC and then show that to you in a future video. But anyway, I think that uh, covers everything. You know, I've now shown you that I can successfully run this this uh, test.prc application in Cloud Pilot Emu. It's also a great demo of, you know, why you might use Cloud Pilot Emu in a Palm OS development 
set of context in uh, debugging or testing, sort of really testing uh, type context. Okay, so I, I, with that, I uh, conclude this quick demo of how you can build Palm OS applications with a very simple tool chain, even in 2025 on Ubuntu 24.04. I hope this was helpful to you. I, I hope this was uh, enjoyable and entertaining. And if you have any thoughts, questions, or suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe as always. Thanks so much for watching and have a great one.